I always tell authors who are self-publishing their work. The first is good choice. The second is hire a cover designer. And the third is hire an editor. So hiring a cover designer may seem pretty straightforward, but hiring an editor can be a bit more nuanced. I mean, how many different types of editors are there? How many do you need? And why can't your mom just do it? She's like a really good speller. These are all really good questions. And if you find yourself wondering what the answers are, then this Lulu University is for you. Today, we're gonna talk about the different types of editing and how to get it done. Join us, won't you? First up is developmental editing. Developmental editors will look at the structure, content, and focus of your work. Uh, this is also the phase where any problems with inconsistent tone or an unclear target audience will surface. A developmental editor is gonna look at the big picture of your story and see if all the pieces make sense. So this will look different for fiction versus nonfiction. Um, so for fiction, a developmental editor will be looking at your character development as well as the plot and pacing. For nonfiction, the editor will be looking at the information of the story, if it's organized well, and if it's engaging throughout. Developmental editing usually comes first in the list because this will help you cut out any pieces that aren't serving the manuscript. Does it mean what is the point of formatting and grammar correcting pieces of your text that are just gonna end up on the cutting room floor, right? Right. Moving right along, next on our list is line editing. So as the name indicates, line editors will go through your manuscript line by line, tightening up sentence structure to make sure your sentences are concise and clear. Line editors are attentive to your individual style as a writer and they approach your manuscript as a careful reader. So in doing that, they're gonna be interested in your word choice and syntax and how that contributes to the overall emotional tone of your writing. Line editors are also gonna be paying attention to your pacing and the overall logistical flow of the manuscripts. Up next is copy editing. So on the surface, copy editing and line editing may seem very similar, but the important thing to remember here is that line editors take into account your style as a writer, whereas copy editors are the heartless monsters that indiscriminately go through your text with a red marker, highlighting all of the punctuation and grammar mistakes that you have throughout. So copy editors are gonna be doing the basic fact checking and looking for inconsistencies in your text. And their main goal is to make sure that the whole manuscript is consistent, cohesive, and complete. Last on our list is proofreading. So even though editor is not in the title, a proofreader can play a very valuable role in getting your manuscript ready to publish. So after you've gone through all the other steps of editing that you choose to apply to your manuscript, a proofreader is your last opportunity to catch any inconsistencies or errors before going to print. Now let me know a little bit more about what editors are out there. How do you find them? So if you're not sure where to start, a great place is the Editorial Freelancers Association. So you can find their website at efa.org. And that is gonna be a great resource for you that can not only help you find freelance editors, but also gives you an idea of rates that you can expect, which is a great thing to know when you go into these conversations. Another great place to check out will be the Lulu Partners page. So if you head over to lulu.com slash partners, you'll see a great list of editors that would be so excited to work with you and make your manuscript perfect. Regardless of where you find your editor, it's always good to have a couple questions in mind when you go into that first meeting or initial conversation. So a few things that you'll want to know are, do they have references? Uh, can you see some samples of their work? Are they familiar with your genre? What is their timetable? When can you expect to get your manuscript back? And last but not least, how much do they charge? So keeping a short list of questions in mind is a great way to make sure you end up with the perfect editor for your project. And that's a little bit about editing. Hopefully this will get you on your way to publishing perfection. What questions do you have? What else do you wanna know? Leave it in the comments below, hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.